941 days. When you came back in that Cleveland game, did you have an idea how much this area loves you? How much people appreciate you? How much, how much we missed you? Oh, I mean, I expect it. That, uh, that goes both ways. Like, I, lo I love being a resident of the Bay Area, and I mean, just, uh, you know, real mature, Draymond. This guy is the maturity <laughs> level of a third grader. But anyways, uh, anyways, uh, I just, uh, I mean, just going to breakfast Saturday morning and seeing um, everybody in the neighborhood just so excited and getting you know, a standing ovation from the chef, from the, the waiters, everybody. Like, that's what it's about right there is those little wins, you know. And uh, Sean Livingston would always tell me about the little wins during my rehab. And... <laughs> That's something I just will take for the rest of my life are just the small things in life that uh, just inspire you to keep going, whether it's uh, taking a picture with an old lady or a young kid. Like, Dub Nation has no bounds, and we have fans from all walks of life. If, if you get a second bulldog, would it be named Cannoli? <laughs> no, but I mean... I was watching a lot of Chris Farley videos during my rehab, you know, it was some dark days. So I, when I needed to laugh, put on semi-pro, put on a Chris Tucker movie, I don't know. So I'm a big film guy, you know, me and Peter, we're big film people. Now, Steph, the win in game six, you were as emotional as I've ever seen you. You cried on the court. It obviously was the end of- Who cries on the basketball court? I mean- <laughs> No crying in basketball? <laughs> Tell us about being overwhelmed, a little I'm not emotion crying, there. You're crying. <laughs> People were looking for it. Tell me about the uh, tears and what that all meant. I think everything that's been said on the stage, uh, whether you say it out loud or whether you internalize it, like you carry all of the journey with you every single day. Um, and so to know what we've all been through, what my brother went through for over almost three years, what we went through as a team to try to retool, regroup rejuvenate what we had um, and just like take a snapshot of the last three years all that came out when you know, when the final horn sounded just because you know it wasn't just the work we put in last week it wasn't the work we put in a month ago it was the work that we started you know uh, once we changed buildings and, and trying to carry that, that championship DNA with us um, but that emotion was everything just letting it out letting us know that we back and then I got to the real question is what they gonna say now I, I didn't know that little finals MVP made you good now. Apparently that makes you good. No, I'm not good yet because I got to go play for Coach Kerr in 24 in Paris and try to... That wasn't a, that wasn't a, I'm going to do it. That was just what he said. Wait a minute. I'm going to be there too. Come <laughs> That's on. That's what he said. Come with. <laughs> nah, but it was, a, it, was, it was an amazing, amazing feeling because like I said, with that award and everything, it's... You got to win, and everybody who uh, has a part in that, that's that's the most important thing. I try to let that out, um, but that trophy is nice, though. Finish it off with, for Andre and Draymond and Clay and you, what the relationship with Dub Nation has been, what these fans have been like, not only in the Bay, but really worldwide. Finish off the parade before we jump into cars with a kind of thought and an homage to the fans. I mean... Like we've grown up right in front of y'all's eyes, and uh, from 2015 when we were wondering what like face shaving cream was, because we didn't really had that ability to grow this stuff, and now to know like what we what we've been able to carry all these last you know eight years. Um, how cool is it? Like seven years to the day from Game Six of 2015 to Game Six of 2020, 2022. The exact same day we're celebrating another championship, and to know. You know, with us four, uh, we represent you guys. Like the, the life that you give us, the, the inspiration, the, the free meals and the standing ovations in the kitchens. Um, Love those. <laughs> all those things matter um, because this is what it's all about. It's entertaining you guys, giving you something to cheer for, to be passionate about. It's giving us the opportunity and the platform to go do amazing things that haven't been done in history um, and representing the entire Bay Area in the process. So. Uh, it means a lot for us to have, you know, Dre went on a little vacation, but for us three to know we've all um, been here the entire time and have tried to continue to build this, 
it means the world. And uh, now we're back having a parade in San Francisco. So let's go do it. All right. Before we wrap up, I need your leadership, all you guys, Draymond, Steph, Clay, Andre, to organize the team photo here. Let's get it done. Let's get